everybody, and welcome once again to the roleplay of Kingdom Come Deliverance! Yes! It's me! It's me! Ah, not in character at the moment. I uh, just thought I'd give you a very quick intro here. Because um, uh, I was made aware, and it's something that hadn't escaped my gaze, that over the past three videos there's been a little bit of a kind of a, a laggy, kind of stuttery issue going on. Anyway, yesterday I spent about an hour and a half trying to solve this problem. And it, what it transpires that the problem is, or was, is that it's an encoder overload issue because of the fact that my graphics card is overloaded, you know, playing the game, that when it comes to actually, you know, uh, putting the video onto OBS and recording it, it's causing this issue. Anyway, so by restricting the frame where, frames to 60 frames per second in-game, um, and also lowering the graphics quality a little bit from ultra high to very high, <laughs> which you, you can barely notice. Um, and also reducing the bit rate that I'm recording into from 80, I think, down to 65. Again, barely noticeable. Uh, just those little things combined means that this issue is now no longer happening. So this is a bit of a test video, really. It will be on the shorter side. Uh, just to see if uh, that is indeed the case. I will, of course, watch it back myself, but feel free to, to feedback if you notice the difference um, when you watch this. So there you go. Without further ado, it's back to being Henry. Alright, okay. Training, formal training. If father was alive to see this, he wouldn't be happy, but hey. I need to be able to defend myself, at the very least. Such a sad sight. Seeing my tell seeing my fellow townsfolk <clears throat> reduced to begging in the streets. It's not a damn thing I can do about it. Okay now according to what I was told. That should be the training grounds. All right. Oh, look at this. Uh, is he here? Captain Bernard, is he here? Did Sir Hanush say, don't spare him? He looked like a pretty mean chap. I think I'm going to be in uh, <laughs> for a hell of a ride here. <clears throat> Captain Bernard. Good day to you. What do you need? Can I ask... Perikstein is a fine castle. It'll be even finer once you all clear out and I can move back into my chambers. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. I'm here for training. Yes, hear that boy Sir Radzik said. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then, since that's what Sir Radzik wishes. Uh... And because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. Very well. Come with me and listen closely. I don't want to be repeating myself. I'll be with you. All right. Basics. So let's see what you're made of. Hold it properly and keep moving. Never stand still moving. when your life depends on it. Moving. Hopefully this lesson will last longer than 20 seconds. Oh. 
Okay, moving. 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 Right, good. Now try attacking. You've got to put your back into a good slash. No use waving the sword around like you're swatting flies. Go into the attack with your whole body. Okay. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. Okay, okay, okay. Slashing. Uh, all right. Uh, nice. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, that's it. Uh, uh, that's it. That pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. Okay. Uh, Not bad. Uh, Hey. Well done. Good. Ooh. Sorry. Oh. That will do. Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, let's try something more complicated. One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. One, two, three. Oh, one. Now let's see how you do with defense. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out and move your sword into the path of the blow. Oh! 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 Wait, wait! Hang on a second! Look at my parents! Oh! That's it! Ah. It takes no prisoners here! Oh. Alright! Um. Alright! Very well then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Oh, are you shut? Oh! What, 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 this is a what, sparring here? Free form? Uh, get out! Out! Ooh. Good strike! We Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 bloody hell. You're showing off. Oh, 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 I got him. Oh. Try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. Okay. I'm holding the sword raised up. Do an uppercut. My sword is low. Lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Okay. Change. Yep. Ah. Oh. No, not like that. Okay. 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 Very good. Well done. Not bad. Uh, Very good. Uh, uh, right. Lesson uh, two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. What do you mean? When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. But it's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. Okay. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. Uh, hey. uh, ow! All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. Okay, block. 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 Uh. Ow! Ah, uh, that's it. Uh. Not bad. All right. Ow. 
Good. Come on. Ah. Right. Now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Okay. All right. Ah, that's it. Not bad. Try it at full speed. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. Oh, oh my God! So. Oh. Uh. Hey. Hey. Oh, yeah, okay. Whoa. I am pretty sharp this morning. Uh. Hey. Whoa. Uh, yeah. Captain Bernard. Huh? Yeah! Oi! 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 Wait a while, Henry. Oh! Oh, that was fun! Bloody painful! Not fun! Greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzik's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, Blacksmith? It's Sir Radzik's orders. I know. Bloody fool. The archery range. My hands grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith boy. Try not to hurt yourself. Arrogant prick. Where did we finish? <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. Oh. Let's go. All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. That the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Oh, God, this is... This is... Oh! Try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. Rhythm. You see a strike before it's even properly started. All about rhythm and speed, quickness. Very good. Oh, you can't take your eye off the ball uh, for a it. second here. Ah, uh, that's it. And the last thing for today, a trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. Okay. All right. Oh, look at that! Hey, hey. Wrong. Okay. Damn it. Oh, oh. Good. Not like that! Try it! Wrong, damn it! Alright! No, not like that! Good! No, that's not it! Not like that! No, not like that! Oh, I'm trying, I'm trying! Nice! Well now, that wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. 
Whenever you've got nothing better to do and you're in the mood for it, you can come and train here with me. I can teach you something more when you're up to it. Oh, I'm up for it, all right. You don't have to worry about me. Don't leave yet. But Razik also wanted me to teach you archery. Archery. Come with me. Ooh, archery. Okay. Hmm, got a feeling I will be here a long, long time. Because I will be training hard. Oh, yes. I saw the way my father handled the uh, Koomans. He swung that sword like a... Like a knight. This is definitely a turn up. I did not expect to be doing this. Find my lucky stars. Don't worry. When I can, I will. When I can, I will. Hmm. Let's see that. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing, put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks and get in position. Now concentrate. A bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice. Come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. Even organized contests in Prague. If you would have gotten far there, you're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment. And then release the string. No jerky movements. Just let the string slide out of your fingers. As if you were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement. The arrow aiming at the target and flying at it. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one. And then those arrows will oh, fly so fast that I won't miss. see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. Ah. Oh, this is quite fun. I didn't expect to enjoy this so much as a sword, but I like this. That's it then. I don't like to say it, but it wasn't that bad. Oh! I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sir Bernard. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. A braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith's boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well? Any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I have enough. Good. Then let's get to it. All right. <laughs> No way I'm losing to this guy. Ah! Come 
bomb. Didn't expect that. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt. Hmm. What are you grinning about, boy? Hmm. I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? If you like. Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, aye, aye. You son of a bitch. Oh, this turns you've been assaulting me. Just for revenge. Oh, oh. Okay, no. Calm. Calm. Go ahead and gather your strength. Calm. Get back. Oh, 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 right at the mush. Uh, come on, I'm at you. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. Hey, hey. Ah, oh, my hand! You look a bit out of breath, Sir Hans. This time, blacksmith, I must be having an off day. Are you all right, sir? Don't worry your mangy head about me, peasant. We'll see each other again soon enough. You can keep my bow. It's best years are behind it anyway. <laughs> oh, oh my God! That's so, so thrilling, so exhilarating. So quick to run your mouth next time, will you? <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Look at the state of these clothes. Been ripped to shreds. Did it? Captain Bernard said he would teach me some more things. The day is yet young, although I'm tired, I, I must have more. Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. He shouldn't have challenged me. Careful. You might be under Sir Radzig's protection, but you'd be wise to stay on good terms with the other noblemen, too. Now go to the Rat House. The bailiff's waiting for you there. What? All right, Captain. Yeah. I wanted to train a bit more. Damn it. Okay, well, I'll have to do as he asks. I'm employed now. Whew. I must say that is the most fun I've had for a long time. <laughs> oh, 
Lord Capon. That was satisfying. Good afternoon, sir. I think I might even treat myself to a trip to the inn this evening. Well, of course, depends what the bailiff's got in store for me, but some kind of celebration is order is in order. I wonder what work the uh, bailiff will have in store for me. I wonder. No, oh, I better go straight away. Although it's not good to do a day's work on an empty stomach. Flour, egg, salt, yeast. Let it bake a bit, and you'll be able to feed the whole family with fresh bread. <sighs> I can't resist. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Ooh. Can I have some milk? I think I'll have some milk. And pretzels. Yeah. Milk and pretzels. I'd like to discuss the price. Naturally. All right, so. Thank Have a you. Look at these cucumbers, they'll stay firm all winter. Buy them before someone else does. spot of lunch training and getting one over on a snot-nosed lord I'm certainly ready for a, an afternoon's work <laughs> good health to you I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed? Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We've a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. Ah, I see. You can count on me, Bailiff. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? I have, and I have the bruises to prove it. The captain doesn't hold back. The harder the training, the easier the battle. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. Oh. Good luck to you. Oh, pay, pay. 
Hey, we've been paid! Oh! Excellent, excellent, excellent. Right. Armory. Armory? Go to the church. I can't go to the church dressed like this. Gotta go. Right. There's no time at the present. Go and get my stuff. And then head to the church to see if, uh, if I can start work today. I want to start work as soon as possible. afternoon ma'am This is the building. How do we get inside? Oh, oh this fella. Oh. If you're after something here, tell me. I was told to pick up a kit here. Name? Henry. And in fealty too? Sir Radzik Kobola. Mm. Yes, I've got you. Well, come on in then. Make yourself at home, Henry. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all? You want a kiss and a hug as well? I mean equipment. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. Oh, well, thank you. Nice. Don't mind if I uh, get changed in here, do you? I'm going straight on to patrol, I think. Okay. Well, this uh, completely ruined shirt can go. I don't need those for the moment. Do I need this? Really? There we go. There we go, and that. What on earth do I look like? Okay. Huh. How do I look? I'd look better with something like that over me, but hey. Red Scarf will have to do. Good day to you. Right, I need to get to the uh, to the church. Without Dilla well, I, I shouldn't be running through the streets, no. Don't want to uh, cause a panic here. Right. Keep 
an eye out for someone that looks like a god. Aha. Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? You report for duty dressed like that? Well, I've got nothing better to do. You'd look more frightening with a pitchfork. Go and get kitted out first. Fine, I'll go and get something. I'll get Hang on a second. Where am I supposed to put these on, maybe? I see you're kitted out. Oh. <laughs> Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honor to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I, um... I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So, how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? I wanted to enter the service of Saradzik, but he sent me here to learn. And learn you will. You're lucky, lad. Saradzik must like you. Most lords would have just sent you on your way. Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. All right, lead the this way. Is our church, St. Matthew's. But I'm reduced. Been inside, it's nice. St. Matthew's. It serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the Lords of Lyper, our masters. The gravedigger lives right round the corner. The priest, too. Our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. <laughs> you don't have to explain, I've seen him. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there, and our maestro proto notarius, the scribe. And the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. This uh, pillory yes. was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. Huh. The swordsmith lives here. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. What the? I don't want you here. Is that manure pile not big enough for you? Uh, excuse me? What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. What's the problem here? This is my shop, and I won't have beggars sitting on my doorstep. Let her go and squat in the square. She won't be in anyone's way there, and there's plenty of folk to beg from. Must you sit here, of all places? Yes, I do. Why? Folk drive me away wherever I sit. I can't keep walking all day and night. Can't you show us some Christian charity, Armour? What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday? Is that true? Might be. Might not. Did you get any alms or not? Yes. From the armor here? I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday, and my belly's empty again today. That's true. What would you know about it? We're both good Christians, aren't we? We should each give something to the poor soul. And what then? Then Jane will be on her way. Immediately. King Solomon now, are you, lad? Fine. Fine. Have it your way. God bless you, and 
And you too, citizen. I won't be a nuisance no more, really. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. You're as bad as each other. Oh, well, I think that worked out well enough, didn't it, Nightingale? Your old neighbours are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Zahanush. If the town burghers got their way, your folk wouldn't be let anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Zahanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Zahans Capon. Zahans' father, old Zayeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. Let's hope not. This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled mm. to bursting. What was that? All around. Yeah, but it's quite the sight to see. pretty daughter but he keeps her on a short reign which the young bucks are none too happy about i heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day oh dear. look here see that filthy beggar by christ i'll show the bastard what the hell what do you mean Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hanu saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right, I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. There's one alehouse here on the market square, the trader's tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. Oh, will we now? Excellent. That was a bit harsh, wasn't it? God. Let's move along to the inner bailey. Standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice too. You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. They. What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Scalitz. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel.
The Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sasau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed, Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. <laughs> It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. Mm, sounds like this it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. Oh. Good to see everybody's behaving themselves on it. Apart from uh, Beggar Jane, that is. I wonder if anything happens around here. At all. Not that I'm complaining of a quiet life, but... Yeah. Bit of action. Oh! Hey, Mr. Pig! Distracted. <sighs> God be with you, Benesh. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir anyway? Isn't he Help supposed me. to be here with you? Please. Ah, yes. I'm from Scarlet and I lost everything I had. Oh, I see. Now where might he have got to then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? Uh, in the tavern. He was thirsty, so he... Went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. Have some compassion. How drinking in the tavern, eh? This is not good. Oh. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? Uh. Move your carcass and go and guard the gate. Uh, I... Not a word. Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff. Or oh, God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! <laughs> Oh, oh, let's oh. have a drink. Let's have a. We've just told him off for drinking on the jar. <coughs> oh dear. That fool got me all worked up. Oh. Yeah, sh shouldn't we be on patrol instead of drinking? You're eager, aren't you? Don't worry, even watchmen are entitled to a break. Except the ones on the gate and the tower, of course. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Um, I, mean, I don't usually play dice that often, but... <sighs> you know what, seeing as we're here... Why not? You're a brave soul taking me on. I'm not used to losing. Well... Let's see how things go, shall we? Oops! Oh, um. One more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet's, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind. The bell is hanging outside the rat house. Ring three times, then go to the trader's tavern by the market square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget, 
It's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. Thank you very much. Right, ring the bell. Back to the tavern, close up, and that's my day done. Oh. Hang on a second here. There we go. Don't want to be caught doing anything illegal as a, as a guard. Oh, what kind of example would that set? Well, I've enjoyed today. I have enjoyed it wholeheartedly. Training, sword training, bow and arrow training. Which I really enjoyed actually. I think I might have to do some more of that. A day's honest work? must remember to pay back uh, Miller Peshek when I get back. There's no way I'm going to be stealing uh, from the executioner. Not when I'm a man of the law now. It's not that I was going to do it anyway. Right, where's this bell? By the rat house, he said. Ah. I've lost everything. My home. Here it is. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, to the tavern. Time to close up. Then <clears throat> I can go back and tell Teresa all about it. Come on, folks! Closing time! Excuse me, sir. You should be carrying a torch with you. Can you please bear this in mind in future? It's illegal. And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town gate! <laughs> no, 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 we can, we can see, we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good canon on his pig. <laughs> Did you find him? <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean, the beast with a tonsure on its head. <laughs> <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the reverend was sound asleep in the pigsty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God <laughs> save their bacon. <laughs> Sir Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to... Buyers around. <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was you, I get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Rate. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, is he here? What is he hiding under the table, maybe? <laughs> no, then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough! You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. <laughs> what, like you taught me my place in the archery? Or in the training ground? Have you told your friends about that? 
Don't embarrass yourself Jesus further. Christ. Uh, oh. Oh. You son of a... That'll show uh. 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 Come on, your grace, show him what for. Uh. 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 Give that bastard something to remember you by. Uh. 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 Uh, uh, crucifix! Uh, what in the name of Christ is happening here? Well, answer me, damn you! This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence! To <gasps> you shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans, how many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> you spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Oh, hunting. Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Oh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Well, him? Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight. Sir, I have responsibilities to the bailiff. Not I anymore. Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. Have gone any worse? That man! Keep on. No. Oh. Better. Everyone has to carry a light at night by law. I've been told off by. Bloody random women in the street. Can my day get any worse? Yes, I think I might to uh, leave a few selective <sighs> incidents out of my day's recollection to Teresa, I think. Just when things were going so well. You look pleased. Haunting. Well, Haunting. With that imbecile. God. Can't think of anything worse. Good night. Look on the bright side. I have coin. We can pay back Miller Peshek. Um, I can train. Hopefully that offer still remains open. Whenever I want. In archery or in swords. The hunt with Lord Capon. Well, it won't last forever. I'll just have to grin and bear it, but... 
Once I've done, once I've done that, I'll, I'll probably be allowed to come back to my role here under the bailiff. Just got to get through the next couple of days without throttling that swine. And hopefully things will be okay. I'm struggling to see here. Oh. Ah, there we go. Oh, well, the Peshek's still up. Excellent. Ah, so is Teresa. Hey, let. I've got the money to pay that debt. And I was afraid you had a chamber pot for a head. Hand it over. That job's still going, if you're interested. Sure, I'm on it. That job you wanted me to do, I won't do it. I pay both you and the apothecary, so we're even. You're an ungrateful pup, aren't you? Well, suit yourself. If you ever need anything, you know where not to go. Farewell. God be with you. Huh. I may well have burnt a bridge there. Right, well. Good evening, Teresa. What a day I have had. And if you don't mind, whilst you're doing your needlework, I'll, uh, I'll tell you all about it. You're not going to believe what's happened to me. 